guys, welcome to Jam Down Kitchen. So here we're gonna have a lot of cooking. You know what I'm saying? It's a kitchen, it's jam down kitchen. So you're here, we're gonna cool down, we're gonna jam, we're gonna have fun in the kitchen. So on this page is basically about food, family, you know, and having fun. Hey guys, what's up? Oh grandma people, welcome back to Jam Down Kitchen here with your girl Chef Chin. Guys, I know it's been a while, but your girl has been busy. Don't forget, she don't forget you, she don't forget you, all right? So today we're coming down to a different thing. Today is Sunday, and you know I'm feeling a bit soupy today. No heavy food. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to do like a cold food soup. So let's go and show you what we're going to do. So guys, here we are with our cow food all washed in lemon juice and vinegar and little salt too guys yeah just get out all that bacteria out of there so guys it is fully washed and into it i've had two big peg of garlic i've cut them up and i've also had pimento so you guys want this to go quick all right so the garlic is gonna help it and also the pimento and guess what flavor so guys you know what we're going to do with this me now boil this out the whole entire day so we are gonna get like a help from stella you remember remember stella so guys we're gonna add the cow foot directly into stella right here and let you pressure for about 45 minutes all right guys so let me put it in here and show you how it looks so now guys it has been added to stella my pressure cooker right here and guess what guys i add some water because the water's gonna help it to cook you have to add water not too much not too little all right guys i'm putting it on low low heat because remember comfort have fat and if you put it on too much of a high heat it's gonna let it ooze out of the pressure cooker all right guys so we're gonna make this cook for about 45 minutes it's these are really soft they don't take long all right guys it's a super bad So guys, let's start with this. It's the squash. It's not pumpkin, but it's pumpkin cousin. So we're gonna cut it up and let you see how it is. This is a much creamier thing to use than pumpkin. This is how it's supposed to be looking, guys. Look at that. Don't mind the skins. You cook it with the skins on, guys, because it melts away in your mouth. All right, guys. Don't add more so much, cause we got a big pot. All right. This is squash, guys. Don't forget, it's a need to try. All right, this is squash, guys. Time to cut these carrot, guys. These yummy, yummy carrots. So this is how we added them together, guys. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. You need to cook it for with color. So now we are gonna add something else to it. All right. Um, oh no, chocho. Here it is. I'm gonna add chocho to it very nice in the soup so watch me so now guys now we've added some green to it look at that mm -hmm. look at that so now guys guess what we're gonna add on to the corn the scallion and the pepper so now guys we have added our corn and our scallion and our, our red pepper guys remember look at that colors colors you have to make your food beautiful so guys, once Stella is finished, I am going to add all of this into a bigger pot and I'm going to show you how to make the soup, yummy. So guys, this is all done. Let us test it if it is soft. Mommy. Look at that. Mommy. Alright guys, so it is ready to go. So let's show you how we're going to do this. So guys, I have added all the meat and water that was in Stella, the pressure cooker, into this Silvanino right here. So guys, this is Silvanino, one big, big pot. You understand? So I've added three and a half cup of water to that. And now guys, I'm going to add all the veggie veggies that I've cut up and cleaned directly into that. So you want all of this to cook together. Okay guys, now we're going to give that a stir. Right up into that. Look at that. Can't tell me so that's not pretty. Hmm? Don't camera guys. Yes, we got that bad boy. <laughs> Very pretty. So guys, you know what I'm going to do now? I'm going to need some flour, some flour dumpling to put it in here. Alright, so I'm going to cover this so they get soft and can cook down. So we'll come back. 
So now guys, I've added the flour, salt, and cornmeal. And I'm gonna make some spinners to put in there for round dumpling too. All right, stay tuned. All right guys, so guess what? I've all finished made in the dumpling. So that nice and well needle. Now we're gonna add it directly in here. So we're gonna lift off the cover. And guys, remember dumpling take time for cook, okay? So I'm gonna add them to it gradually, all right? You can make any form of dumpling, any shape, any size you want to make it, okay? And in another video, I'll teach you how to make dumpling. Okay, guys? If you want it like so, you drop it right down in there. Not too big, not too small. But if you want spinners, you can add spinners too. So I'm going to do this until I'm finished with the flour. And then I'm just going to stir the pot. All right? So come back. So now guys, I've gone off camera and I've added thyme as you can see here and I've finished making all of the dumpling them. Don't it? And I know the pot look nice. So guys, remember build a building flavor. You have to stir in everything. Alright, stir them right in. Now guys, I'm going to add the Grace Pumpkin Flavor Soup Mix. Alright, just to have that little pumpkin taste with the squash. As I'm going to say, squash is not pumpkin, a pumpkin puzzle. And it's really nice. It gives it a creamy taste. Look at that. And this gives it an orange color. Alright guys, so now I'm going to stir this all together. And while this cook, I'm going to peel the yam and the Irish to put in there. And then just let everything come together. And then we're going to have a little cock soup to it. You understand? I'm sorry. Fall soup to it. Alright guys. So, soup catch your back. Alright. So, guys, here is the soup. Off camera, because it was a bit busy, let me tell you what I add. I add the cock soup, or sorry, the fowl soup. I add that into there. I add the yam and the Irish potato into there, guys. I add a veggie cube to it, two of them. And I add a little bit of salt to it, and a little bit of the season salt, guys. And that's all you need. And then now we're going to let it cook down and build its own flavor. Alright guys, this soup is packed of nutrition and it is very, very yummy. Look at all of that guys. You can't beat that. So guys, I'm going to plate this and let it cook for another 15 minutes. And then I'm going to plate it and show you how it looks. Alright guys. Hey guys, here is the finished product look at all this yumminess guys we have carrot cove with the corn oh my god guys look at that it's so yummy guys remember to like share subscribe tell a friend and another friend all right guys and try the recipe for yourself if you don't completely sure hit me up and i'll tell you what to use guys it is yummy it is a must try look at all of that look there look there guys well healthy well well healthy all right guys so remember it's your girl chef chin out so guys here is my tester and my comfort soup mm -hmm. babes tell them how it is tell them tell them comfort well pressure and it creamy and nice you know with that splash in it mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you hear that? Have you hear that? That's my food critic, you know. Alright, baby, enjoy. Mm -hmm. So, guys, remember to also follow Chef Chin with us being on Instagram, guys. And go check out our next page with Life with Chin and Akeem. Yes. Alright, guys, out.